so this audio is to address the apparently ongoing, still ongoing debates about um, old, old technique, new technique, what I'm seeing is Old Testament, New Testament is what I've called it before, and just more of the division tactics, I would say, that is still rippling through our shield and through our community, causing more confusion and division that we really don't need, if, especially if we're attempting to pull to, to reunite and pull together this shield that we're attempting to do in Host Masters. So I've made several videos about this. I made a, an extended testimonial type video of KD Dale 3 Afterthoughts, which I'm going to leave a link to that in this description for people to listen to. That has my story in it. Um, has, uh, you know, my history about how I obtained workshops over the years, different things like that, different advice given by um, some KSers that were a big part of this work over the years as well, foundational part of the work, and advice that I've, I have taken, taken to heart. There's been a lot of information that I've gathered over, over these past uh, almost 20 years of doing interviews and talking to newcomers and getting feedback. I consider myself a journalist at this point in this community and you know it doesn't take too too long to see as a newcomer coming in to see how much work that i've devoted towards um, community development a lot of these stories that i've witnessed and documented entail people um, coming into a safe space that i have been providing for them to do their own discernments without being lectured and told what is safe and unsafe for them, and obtaining the information from these numerous accounts of um, people coming in fresh, you know, has been very eye-opening for me to see what people need to do for themselves to navigate their way, um, sometimes in, into the new work, sometimes not. But what has stood out to me is even through the, you know, don't don't play with light body and trumpets era that we're move, we have now now moved entirely out of at this point. My understanding, amidst that same time era of uh, you know these techniques not being good for you and causing dark flowering things like that that Aisha has talked about, there has still been an undeniable need for the foundational study for people to piece this together and like I say either way for people to lead into the new work if they're keyed into that I don't see any victims in this not everybody is keyed into the new work and not everybody um, needs to try to force fit the plasmas into their templates and to think that they do is violation of, of people's free will. And that's something that I will always be adamantly against. Um, well, I'll put it this way. I'm not against things, but I will adamantly be in support of people utilizing their free will and providing a space for them to do so. There's been removals of people that went on to form you know, other groups and work with other groups because of lecturing newcomers that were sharing about their results and working with the Mahar Shield and how it was benefiting them. And again, this was during the time of the trumpets when we were told not to play with light body by Yesha. There's been ongoing accounts of people still doing Mahar Shield and very comfortable with it while working with uh, the pink love bubble and the rainbow plasmas and you know, doing proga, doing host masters, and very comfortable working with all techniques, Amaria Buffer even. We need to put this to rest at some point. We need to come to some safe space in our minds about these techniques that, you know, I'll give a comparison. Somebody made a post in one of the groups that I'm not in. Somebody shared a screenshot about it saying, 
they had a negative experience working with one of the cathedrals in Peru and instantly they put in the same context in their post are these gates compromised now this type of thinking when we jump directly into things being compromised because we had a negative experience or because we are on a certain path that that does not involve working with certain techniques um, calling other things compromised is absolutely uncalled for it's like saying your your distaste for garlic or onions or, or whatever whatever kind of food um, because you don't like it that it's or maybe you're having adverse reactions to it or something like that that it's poison for everybody that it's dangerous for everybody I mean it's absurd that the level of mentality that this is coming from and it is a direct attack on free will and what these teachings have given me back is the notion of all life everywhere all respect for free will you know in the arena of which is what we recently reviewed in, in our freedom forum uh, FOL 7 I believe the histories of uh, origins of fall and how the Borgia became the Borgia where they came from and you know there was words like temperaments that was used how you know it's not exactly all free will all free for all free will that there is temperaments at some point so within that parameter is the context that I'm talking in as well is okay well you can't just have free-for-alls right like you respect free will that's fine but we're not going to go around trying to bend laws and make um, make creations that begin to tamper with um, eternal creation and that's where the boundaries are kind of drawn where God has kind of drawn the boundaries with these things so when I'm saying respect for free will I'm saying it within that context that we're not you know obviously you don't harm yourself you don't harm others you don't do things like this you know to inflict all this mess that we're kind of have learned through the histories that have unfolded here I'm not in support of that obviously but I still stand by respect of what people need to do when they need to do it with the information available to make those decisions for themselves I have mentioned before the environment that we have found ourselves in now for the past uh, since 2012 you know going on 15 years with the freedom teachings not being available quote-unquote officially by Arias not being re-released after those um, court arrangements there's accountability on all parties that were involved in those arrangements accountability to the public to the planet to everybody that did not have access during that time everybody that needed access at that time but did not have it people that needed to come online and did not understand the new information without the context of the foundational information shields that needed to come online you know this work doesn't just stop because a, um, a few people in charge of these teachings become involved in court litigations I don't believe that I don't believe that there's guardian councils that push pause on a planet like that for these reasons so I'll say it again there's full accountability for those actions and how where they led there's people many other people aside from myself that decided to preserve these teachings early on way early on um, call it premonition or intuition you know or just a gut feeling that they needed to be preserved but even at that time they were kind of clinched on with a very tight fist for reasons that I'm learning now are absolutely valid because there there is a free-for-all that's happening right now with people taking these teachings and you know making money off them and just throwing it in with their business and with their clients and not giving any leads to the sources of where, where it comes from there's a lot of that going on but there's a lot of true colors amidst that process that are being revealed as well where we know better where people stand and organizations stand 
and there's also room for people's free will to use their discernment and go through the processes of seeing those true colors. So when it comes to the subject of, you know, some certain individuals releasing freedom teachings when they shouldn't have, and, you know, this affecting people through the trumpets and the grids at that time with their light bodies, I think we need to take a few steps back and look at the entire arena before um, making little enclosures and compartments on subjects. So I'll let everybody do the math on that for themselves, which is the guardian approach that I stand by. And we'll see how everything unfolds here with the upcoming grid transformations and changes that we will be seeing, I believe, shortly. And the positive reconfigurations of the crust that is taking place on our planet now at this time through this passage.